pay attention to verse 16. For dogs encompass me, a company of evil doers encircles me, like a lion my hands and feet. The last part doesn't make sense, right? What does it mean? Like a lion my hands, and my feet. Well, the thing is that, this isn't what King David really wrote, but a later change that the rabbis made to the text. Originally, this verse was written as, Karu, my hands, and my feet, Karu, and not carry. Karu in biblical Hebrew means, to make a hole, while carry means, like a lion, the rabbis shortened the last Hebrew letter of the word, and by doing so, changed the word from karu, which means they have pierced, to the word carry, which means like a lion. Originally read like this, for dogs encompass me, a company of evil doers encircles me, they have pierced my hands and feet, meaning, they made holes, in my hands, and my feet. Do you understand, this entire description, sounds too much like, Jesus crucified on the cross, after he was rejected and tortured. This of course, didn't suit the rabbis, so they decided, about a thousand years ago, to change, that one Hebrew letter. Do you think we just invented all of this, in the Dead Sea Scrolls, from over 2200 years ago, that contains Psalm 22, among other scriptures, we can see that in this chapter. In verse 16, it says Karu, which means they have pierced and not carry, which means like a lion. These scrolls were written long before the time of Jesus, also in the Septuagint, which was written by Jewish scribes, during the 3rd century before Jesus Christ. The word is karu, which means they have pierced, and not carry, which means like a lion. This is another example of the way the rabbis concealed and are still concealing the messenship of Jesus from you, even by changing, and twisting, the Old Testament text. They will do anything in order to keep Jesus as secret from you.